available for me as a seminarian to, uh, to volunteer to work on the Sioux Reservation in South Dakota. I was actually studying in St. Mary's, Kansas, uh, which is, has a, a very interesting history itself. But uh, I'll just focus now on the, the, the Lakota or Sioux Reservation in South Dakota. It was possible for us as seminarians to volunteer to work on the Sioux Indian Reservation in South Dakota. And, uh, and work as an amateur cowboy, which was interesting and, and challenging. And we did branding of cattle, etc. And uh, I always thought that we were getting in the way of the real cowboys out there. But on the, on the other hand, we eventually learned how to, to do these things on the reservation. And then in the evening, I would go out, saddle up a, a horse, which we could do, and, uh, and ride out into the canyons uh, and meet some of the elder tribe people uh, among the, the Lakota. And so I would go out, and one of these was Chief Hollowhorn Bear, the last of the Lakotas and uh, so uh, I would talk to him about life on the prairie and what his life was uh, as one of the leaders of the tribe and it, I learned so much from him. <laughs> me deeper and, and deeper into their life world and, uh, and I marveled at their spirituality particularly because they were very, very sensitive to spiritual values and, uh, and the, the, the kind of guidance that the that Wakantonka uh, that's the holy sacred one would would lead them in their spiritual journey and uh, it, it was very very uh, enriching for me and then also it provided a framework for my entering more deeply into their spiritual universe uh, which I did and although the main work that we did on the reservation was branding cattle that I was not very skilled in. <laughs> Any of the white workers were, but uh, I learned uh, a fair amount of that. And then I learned about their, their sense of the holy, incredible sense of, of the holy and the, and the sacred nature of the universe and of human beings and the tribes, etc. So all of this was um, very uh, see, enriching for me personally and for the history of these people and then to get to know them. Unfortunately, uh, we have a very mixed history with the natives, native tribes in the country and I want to say from my contact with the the Lakota people and other tribes that uh, that we were treated we treated them very badly, but I think the saddest thing is that we did not have a real deep experience of their deeper values. So it wasn't the way it sometimes described as that well we treated the, the Indians badly. It was that we were insensitive to this, this, sensuous, uh, this spiritual value. And then I got to know them on their own level, which was another thing, if we're at beginning with the Potawatomis in Kansas. And, uh, and then the, 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 some of the 
older, I mean, Padabhadami saw that I was interested in their spiritual vision, and so they arranged for me to have a meeting with the last of their leaders. And uh, uh, we met, as only the Indians do, uh, on, uh, during a naming ceremony, a very beautiful ceremony, chanting and whatnot. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, on, on in near the chassis of an old rusted car. But that's so, that would seem strange to the, the people in the West. But it's the way they look at things, and, and that was quite understandable. So I would go out and ask him about uh, about, about the, the Parvatami tribes and what their future would be. And, and then he would tell me, and he said that uh, we know that uh, we are our way of life is disappearing and that we can't sustain it and the, that people come from different places in the United States to to repeat, to, to record our chants. And he said that uh, I've thought about that a long time, but I decided not to help them because we know that our way of life is disappearing and we think that our chance should disappear with us. And that was very poignant, I thought. But it was the situation of, of our encounter with the, the Native people in the United States. I must say the Native people are very uh, powerful and very uh, energetic and warlike and so forth, all that we see them in the movies and elsewhere. But there is another uh, dimension, and that's their inner world, their deep spirituality, and their relationship to Vankantaka, the Holy Spirit, uh, and their... Uh, I, I, I never saw among the, the, the Potawatomi and the, the Sioux people, the, the way in which the whites treat religion uh, without s sensibility. I think that the people that I had met, if I'm reading them correctly, were profoundly religious in our terms of religious. and. Uh, that they were very, very God-alive uh, people. And that whether it be with the Potawatomis in Kansas, uh, or the Lakota on the plains, uh, 